A convenience store requires that a Yumi spend $4 or more if she wants to pay using a debit card. Donuts each cost 80 cents. Donuts each cost 80 cents, or 80 cents each. A bottle of orange juice costs $1.20. If D represents the number of donuts a Yumi would need to buy to pay for one orange juice and the donuts using a debit card, which of the following inequalities best models the situation described above? All right, so she needs to spend $4 or more. And she's going to buy one orange juice. She's going to buy one orange juice and D donuts. D represents the number of donuts. So let's let's write this down. So this one orange juice, this one orange juice right over there, that's going to be a dollar twenty. We'll assume everything I'm writing is in dollars. That's that. And then how much is she going to spend on donuts? Well, the donuts are eighty cents each, and D is the number of donuts. So she's going to spend 80 cents times D, or 0.80D. We could write it like that. Or we could just write this as 0 0.8, 0.8D. So this is what she's spending on that one orange juice. This is what she's spending on the D donuts. And in order to use her debit card, in order to use her debit card, she needs to spend $4 or more. So this thing right over here, needs to be greater than or equal to $4. Once again, greater than $4, that's the or more. But it could also be exactly $4. And that's why we have the equal sign right over here. So let's see, which of these choices describe that? Let's see, if 0.8D plus 1.2 is greater than 4. So before you even see if this expression right over here is equivalent to this expression right over here, you could see this is greater than 4. This is, we want to be greater than or equal to 4. But So just like that, you could. You could rule. You could rule this one out. And actually, if you multi, if you distribute the 0.8d, you will see that you get something different. You get 0.8d, and then 0.8 times 1.2 is not one point. Is not a dollar twenty. Is not 1.2 right over here. So we can rule that one out. 0.8d plus 1.0.8 times d plus 1.2 is greater than or equal to four. Well, let's see that. That has the greater than or equal to, but if you distribute 0.8d, 0.8 times d is going to be this, but 0.8 times 1.2 is not 1.2. It's going to be it's going to be 0 0.96, 0.96. So that's that's not going to work out. Let's see, 0.8d plus 1.2 is greater than 4. We're close, but remember we want greater than or equal to 4. And then lucky for us, this right over here is very similar. It's exactly what we wrote up here, with just the difference that instead of writing $1.20, they wrote 1.2. So if you just swap, if you just swap these two around, you get you get zero. Let me do them in those same colors. You get 0.8d plus, instead of writing $1.20, I'll just write 1.2 is greater than or equal to 4. Is greater than is greater than or equal to 4. So this is exactly what we had over there. So I would definitely feel good about picking this one. Now if you're doing this in really kind of timed conditions, I would, instead of even doing this, you could go straight. You could, instead of just even trying to think it through, you could go straight to see, well, which of these really describes what's going on here? So let's see, we want to be greater than or equal to $4. We're going to spend $1.20 on orange juice. And then the amount that we spent on donuts is that right over there. So you might have been able to just cut to the chase and pick that one. Whichever way works better for you.